Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, it is Vlad Dracus. Once again, coming to you with a review of the latest kit finished up. The ZA Death Stinger. This is one of the largest Zoids kits I've done to date so far, and it is a big, heavy kit. If you're looking for something to show great on the shelf, this is definitely one for you. It has a very high level of detail, especially even on some of the areas you wouldn't expect, like the head right here, and on the thorax slash chest slash back side of the unit it's just insane the condenser inside there with the zoid core so many little tiny parts such a great build on that very tedious but i did like it get a little bit of missile racks on the back side back here very awesome And our very large cannon sitting on the back side back here. We'll get to those in a little bit. We do have our claws, and these are neat. They do have a little mechanism that opens up to show off the little cannon inside the claw. I can do it with two hands, maybe. Joints are very stiff. I do like that. It does mean so this is a very solid kit. The only thing I did really tighten up was the midsection where the tail connects and the... Uh, couple of the sections of the claws the claws are very heavy so you will need to tighten them up just a little bit and get that mid section from flopping around on you but overall i haven't done any other tightening on this unit uh, we do have our little back pincers which have little thrusters on the inside and you'll see how i tighten up the tail a little bit it did like to be a little bit loose but once tightening that up like i said makes it so this is one solid kit and you won't have any issues with some loose joints and up to that main cannon beautiful articulation on it opens up get that spread particle cannon effect which looks really great and you have your little midsection cannon down there as well really well detailed lots of parts just not something i expected i've done a couple of these ea kits this one just went way further out and beyond on that detail, but I like it. And overall, compared to the other Zoids on the shelves, this guy just stands out. That shelf presence is insane. As you can see, it's a very large Zoid. It has to take up an entire corner of the little Zoids that I've got going so far. And Jeez, is it one big monster of a kit, but I do love having one.